today I'm going to be looking at the Mini Cockpit Mini FCU hardware add-on for Flight Sim. I've been using this kit for about two weeks so I want to share my impressions. But before we get into the review I want to disclose the following. I have no commercial or other relationship with Mini Cockpit. This review is not sponsored or supported by Mini Cockpit or any other entity. I was a Kickstarter backer for this product. I received this unit as a reward for backing the project. Additionally, I paid the full and substantial cost of shipping this unit to my home out of my own pocket. And finally, all the views here expressed are my own. First of all, I am familiar with these types of hardware add-ons for FlightSim. I currently own a hardware MCP for Boeing 737 aircraft and I use it regularly when flying compatible aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane. Therefore, flying sim aircraft without a mouse is already familiar to me. So I'm interested to see how this mini FCU unit performs. With that out of the way, we can dive into the details on this new Flight Sim hardware add-on. The Mini Cockpit Mini FCU is a 4 fifths scale faithful reproduction of the real Airbus flight control unit as found on the A320, A330 and A340 families of aircraft. For those not familiar with the Airbus aircraft, the flight control unit or FCU is a panel that the pilots use to command the auto flight systems of the aircraft. Using the FCU, the pilot is able to control the aircraft's speed, heading, altitude and vertical speed in either managed or selected mode. In addition, the FCU provides the pilot commands for autopilot, autothrust as well as enabling the navigation, localizer and approach modes. The Mini FCU provides the same functionality to a simulator pilot as is provided to a real world pilot by the Airbus's FCU. In the box you will receive the FCU unit itself and a very short USB cable, four pre-installed suction cup feet for tabletop mounting and a QR code to download the supporting software. So far so good, my first impression of the unit is very positive. The build quality appears to be very good. The enclosure feels premium with a powder coated metal housing paired with a plastic facade. All of the knobs and buttons are confidently fastened, there is no unexpected wobble or movement when you interact with each control. And the tactile nature of the knobs and buttons feels similar if not identical to those on the real aircraft. I am not an Airbus pilot, but I have been fortunate enough to sit in the cockpit of an A320 and push all the buttons, and this feels very familiar. Aesthetically, the product looks very good too. The distinctive Airbus blue fascia paired with the off-white coloured knobs, warm orange backlights for the LCD and the control knobs, and the toggle buttons, green LEDs all look very convincing. The unit arrives with four suction cup style feet that are designed to fix the FCU to a desktop table. Unfortunately, the surface of my desk is not suitable for the feet. Thankfully, the Mini FCU has FISA compatible mounting screws on the base, allowing it to be mounted on any FISA display mount. I purchased this relatively inexpensive desktop FISA mount from Amazon, link in the description below. It provides a very good support for the FCU on my desk and it allows me to adjust the angle of the unit as needed. On the real Airbus, the FCU is angled upwards towards the pilots and this mount allows you to recreate the same orientation. This is something that would be difficult to achieve with the suction feet. This visa mount is heavy, much heavier than the FCU, and that means that pushing and pulling on the controls between managed and selected modes is effortless. I would highly recommend purchasing a visa mount for your FCU if possible. The software includes support for Microsoft Flight Simulator and X-Plane 12. Microsoft Flight Simulator requires the Mini FCU app to be run alongside the simulator. X-Plane's integration is through a dedicated plugin, which is nice. The software is very simple. The only setting I use is to bind the Expedite button to the landing system control instead of the native Expedite function. 
providing this ability to remap the button was a nice addition and some nice UX. My only complaint with the Mini FCU so far is the USB cable. The supplied cable is very short and not suitable for my setup, so I had to get a replacement. However, it is 2024. USB-C should be the de facto standard at this stage. Having a micro USB connector is a strange choice. Apart from this, there's not much more to say. The unit feels very well built overall. The controls are very tactile and match the feel of the real aircraft. Only time will tell if the controls will last after many years of use and abuse, however, first impressions are very good. It would be nice if you were able to get replacement parts for this unit should something break. If anyone from Mini Cockpit watches this video, please consider that option. So the Mini FCU is available now from minicockpit.com for $269, excluding any local taxes. Although this may appear expensive, it's actually significantly less expensive than similar hardware add-ons currently available. Unfortunately, flight simulation can be an expensive hobby. You know the drill. If you found this review helpful, then please consider hitting that like button. It will help me out a great deal. And to see more content like this in future, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching this review. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.